ओके लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दिस मीडिया क्वेरी लाइक आज यू नो लाइक मीडिया क्वेरी मींस व्हेन लाइक योर स्क्रीन साइज गॉट चेंज्ड फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट साइज फ्रॉम लार्ज फ्रॉम स्मॉल टू लार्ज और एक्स्ट्रा लार्ज दैट टाइम इफ इफ यू वांट टू डू एनी काइंड ऑफ सीएसएस ऑपरेशन देन यू हैव टू यूज मीडिया क्वेरी ओके दिस मीडिया क्वेरी विल बी आवर लास्ट चैप्टर फॉर सीएसएस and uh, after this completion we will work on this bootstrap okay let me go and uh, last time we have discussed a media query let me go and show you the example of a media queries <clears throat> okay uh, our first example will be let me just a second okay. okay. let me show you something uh, you can see this example or this example saying if if i go and resize this screen you can see that the background color getting changed means after some px after some pixel if i go and down this uh, resize the screen the screen is getting resized okay for that reason let me go and explain about this syntax okay let me show explain about the syntax you can see that what i did i have set the background color by default the body by default the body background color is pink color okay now you can see that what will written if media let me show, let me explain this one are there at media screen and media minimum minimum width 600 pixel then body background color light okay what happening here i am saying by default when i have set this body color as pink you have to understand this media query what is written here it's written media screen i'll explain all these things media screen and the minimum width is 600 pixel then background color will be light light green means if if my uh, screen size will be equal to or greater than 600 pixel then my background color is going to change light green let me say as green we are going to explain all these things now you have to write the code because as i told in the last class like when you resize a page when you resize a page when you are doing anything to a page what happening in that case the browser I means the css know what is your screen size means the screen size automatically inside the if you're doing some resize or you are doing anything in the page then your browser your media query knows about your screen size let me go and explain each and everything to write any media query to write any media query in the html in css sorry, in the css you have to use other at media remember note it down if you want to write any media query you have to write the media then if you want to write any program for this screen you got it the screen means whatever screen or visibility you can write the code for screen means i am writing the media query for screen media query means the query which is going to work on the different different type of pixel okay then you, you clear on this i am going to write a media query for a screen and this is true and what we're going to do if the minimum width the minimum width of whom the minimum width of screen the minimum width of screen 600 pixel or greater always remember and means this one is equal to or greater than means the if the screen i am writing for media screen if this is a media screen then the screen size is minimum width i, I already told the width that is two minimum width and maximum width mean width and max width the mean height and max height the same way if my screen minimum width is 600 pixel then what i want to do 
this is your program what i did by default i set the background color as pink and what i did if if the background if my screen size is 600 or greater than 600 then what i did i need to change the background color to green you can see that this screen if i go and expand this okay if i go and expand this just a second if i go and suppose this is a by default because this screen size is less than 600 let us see the screen size okay just a second okay <clears throat> you can see that what the screen size now 1280 you can see that if a mouse over to html you can see that html 1280 into 1138 let me if you go okay if you go on mouse over you can see the 987 if a resize you can see that in top it's displaying the resize size you can like uh, 597 598 you can see 600 you can see that 598 if i go to less than 600 the color getting changed you can see the top and side this area this area you can see that if i go and resize this screen based on the screen size the color is getting changed because when you resize is getting resize you are doing any resize that time this is going to fire means what you learn here you learn when you are applying media screen minimum would equal this one what will happen What will happen to your code if suppose this is your screen let me explain another time also this is your screen we don't know about the screen size just example the screen size will be anything thousand pixel now you will go and write the media score screen this is the media query screen okay means what you want to do it here you are writing first one is media media is stands for to write a media query media means always remember the pixel the width pixel the screen pixel the media means it's a the it, it, CSS giving a function to write a media query using the other media. Then screen means it's talking about this the browser screen. Browser screen means this one. This is the entire screen. Whatever a visibility, right? The screen. Then you have said that okay, this media query is going to work for the screen. Okay, there is different different type parameter here. So we, we can learn later. Apart from screen, what you can use here, we can learn that one. Just imagine, I have written a media query that is going to work on a screen. And what I need to do? If the screen size, screen size is greater than equal to 600, then what you want to do? That's the reason this is written here. Means, other at media, let me write some comment here you will understand arbitrary media is used to let media query syntax means if you are using arbitrary media it is going to it is notified to the browser okay some media query is written then second parameter is a screen screen means this media query is work on screen okay means this media query is going to work on screen there is a different media query suppose you suppose uh, just give you an example suppose in the print suppose you want to print this page just example you want to print this page you have to print this control p you print this page in the print the page you can see that this is getting change some color okay getting some color change and because why it's giving some color because if you want to in the print if you have to change some color of a, an individual if you want to change the color of a text or if you want to change color of something in the print that time we have to use media query for a print that i'll going to show the example the the screen means here it is going to work on this browser window this screen got it then and and means you are you already know that and means is going to append condition append condition means going to append the condition with respect what happening minimum width minimum width means it's saying 
a screen size minimum width okay minimum width 600 pixel then what you want to do means it's saying if my screen size is 600 pixel then 600 pixel or greater than 600 pixel what you need to do then in that case you are using this concept for that reason if i go and resize this page you can see that after the 600 pixel is more than is the size of the browser the less than 600 pixel it's it's not going to invoke this one if it's greater than 600 pixel okay it's going to invoke this one this is the use of media query clear how you are going to write the media query first you have to use the other media then you have to write for which the media query is going to work for which uh, which section it's going to work for screen or it's going to work for print all these things that we're going to explain later as of now if i would write a media query for a screen that use media media space screen and in this screen if you are going to append any kind of mean or max width of logic then you have to use and then minimum width in the bracket you have to use minimum width 600 pixel it's meaning that i want to create a media query for a screen where the minimum width of the screen is greater than or equal to 600 then what you need to do then based on your uh, logic you have to write your own logic here okay if this is not going to work by default whatever is written here it's going to work clear clear about this concept right let me go and discuss this is the minimum width example okay this is the minimum width means if the screen size the size of the screen is minimum into this whatever size you given minimum equal to greater than okay now we'll go and max or we will go for max length okay same way let me go and open this max one okay here what we are going to do resize the browser window when the width of the document is 600 pixel or less when the uh, width of the document what i'm saying media rules okay the maximum width resize the window when the width of the document is 600 pixel or less okay then the background light blue otherwise it will be yellow okay let me show here what happening let me open the maximum one you can see that what happening here this is the minimum width is minimum width we have open this is a minimum if it get equal to greater than 600 what you want to do if less than equal to 600 less than 600 what you want to do means is mean means if you are going to set the mean value what will happen after the screen 600 pixel or greater than this one going to invoke but if you are using the max one after this means by default what will happen if the, if the screen size is less than equal to if is the less the, let me open if this one is less than equal to less 600 then this is going to work otherwise this is going to work means the reverse of minimum the reverse of minimum here what you're doing is doing 600 right, greater than equal to 600 whereas in this case it's happening different way it's happening less than 600 okay. you can get the the, the the screen size if greater than equal to 600 you have to use minimum width if you are going to use max width then if the size of the page is less than equal to six less than 600 then you want to go and use this rule this is all the mean and max clear there are two example one is mean width if is greater than 600 you want to do something here if it's less than 600 you want to do something in that case in minimum by default due to the screen is greater than 600 this is not going to invoke but if you go to max width if you open by default a window it's going to display this part because your screen is always greater suppose you're opening this screen the screen is supposed large size right due to that this this one is going to invoke but if a screen you decide to less data then it's going to invoke this part means what i'm trying to say it here we have two you have to remember two things one is screen one one is minimum width one is maximum width 
okay these two are the concept you have to understand okay just forget about this only just remember this only uh, nowadays only is need not required but only is used for a backward compatibility browser means when the media query is initially supported always remember one thing this media query is not a css standard means always remember when you are opening a browser maybe chrome or firefox edge what happening the browser should understand this media query because the browser is the actually the person who is going to execute this query right means css is going to give you this function to write the media query but just imagine suppose you are going to open internet explorer 6 or 7 so 90s days I mean, suppose 90s era we are using internet explorer 6 or windows xp system right now if you go and run this kind of query run this type of uh, suppose the css in that browser that is not going to work because why this kind of media query is the new css concept okay but the only is not required now now the only is used for backward compatibility if the browser is going to support this screen or not based on that we are using only but nowadays don't remember this one only now all the browser including firefox edge and chrome all are supporting the media queries okay and always remember this script whatever you are writing the all this script all this media queries or this html is a standard but just imagine it also depend upon the browser suppose you are using an old browser that time this type of query is not going to work suppose this type of query is not going to work why because that browser does not know about this other than what is other than media media okay because when this browser getting new new uh, getting a new uh, updated version that time the browser chrome or firefox or edge they are adding all this syntax in their memory in that case what will happen when you are using media query browser know that okay this the media query i have to work in that way always remember these are the standard query but the standard query also depend upon the browser means if the browser doesn't support the uh, media query then what will happen this is not going to work the same as just imagine you develop an application which is working in javascript and just imagine you are someone disable javascript in your browser or some suppose your browser doesn't support the javascript in that case what will happen your system is not going to execute the javascript the same as if your uh, ht your browser doesn't know this about this media query all these things then what will happen this query is not going to work okay this is the basic standard you have to know all these things but nowadays all major browser including like uh, top top three like uh, chrome firefox and edge all these three are supporting this media query okay then you have to just write this uh, this query okay then what you learn you learn two things one is how to write a media query second one how to set the width of a screen and what will happen based on the screen size all these things it's going to work okay now let me go and discuss about the orientation orientation what is orientation let me show you orientation okay you can see that if i go in this site and open just a second and open the angular site let me go to inspect and here go to this device one and you can see that we have two type of orientation available as a landscape another one is portrait right there is two type of uh, like uh, orientation we have one is landscape one is portrait okay if you rotate you can see that this is the landscape one right and this is the portrait one clear this is the lands this is the portrait and this is the landscape landscape means it's a wide view portrait means it's a normal view now in suppose someone opening your application in portrait view or landscape view sorry in landscape by default portrait right suppose someone opening in landscape view then in that case what will happen how your css know that okay someone opening your application someone opening your application in portrait view or in landscape view to detect this kind of screen orientation the css is giving that flexibility means in css you can able to know the orientation of a page got it how we are getting the minimum width and max how we are getting the size of a screen the same way we can get the orientation of a page 
let me show one example first then i will going to explain just example this is one of the page okay now what happened let me change to portrait view you can see that what happened it's by default landscape and change to portrait view then you can see that when i change to portrait view it's automatically this one getting changed okay it's getting changed then we'll see how it's going to work in a code see it if it's a normal view i suppose this, this is the view portrait landscape portrait landscape let's me show how it's going to write the program you can see that what is saying by default what i said by default this is the page and background body set as a light green this is light green once i make to uh, what i written media only forget the only screen means i'm going to write the media query for screen then what i written the orientation landscape got it what i written i have written the media query for screen and if the screen orientation in landscape what i want to do that is the way if i see that if i change to landscape it's getting changed to green green to light blue okay light green to light blue you can see that this is the code using this code what you will do you can if you want to detect what is the screen size whatever the screen size means screen orientation of a browser based on that we are going to write the code in the previous example we get the screen size in this example we get the screen orientation okay clear uh, suppose this is a portrait view this is the landscape view based on that you have to write your code okay clear then we have covered three things let me go and discuss about print okay what is print let me show you okay you can see that what i did this is my uh, one of the suppose this is my media query where i going to print this text to print you know you have to press the control p and what happening you can see that this is my text okay this is my text and suppose once, once I want to print it, you can see that the color changed to red. Got it? What I am trying to say it here. By default, the text of this one is green. Okay, by default text is green. Displaying the browser. And someone wants to print it. And you can see that I have changed this color to red. Now, how you can do, how you can go and write the code for print means previous example we have seen you have write a code for the screen but media query also giving a flexibility give you optional like you can go and write the media query for print let me show you what i did this is my by default you can see that i have written media screen if the screen media is a screen then body color equal to green the same way I, I did it here media print means it is mean means when the page is render for print only means when you will print when someone is going to print the page that time this media print is going to fire okay this media print is going to fire due to that what happening if i go and print this page control p doing the print this page what happening in that time only we are converting this color of green to red the same way in your future suppose you are writing something and printing something code then you can write the media query where if you want to change any color if you want to change some italic if you have any kind of uh, styling you want to apply for a print then you can add this code okay got it then as, as i told this media can be written for screen this media can be written for print okay this, this two way we can write this kind of condition okay let me show you one example so, okay. 
this is one of the example okay what example you can see that left hand side i have some text left hand side i have some text right hand side i have some text and what will happen if i resize this page i want to hide this area okay you can see that if i go and you can see that hide means what i'm trying to do it here if i go resize this one what will happen this this should be go in top of this one means i want to display this data in top of this one okay region if you go if you resize you can see that about me is coming top of this one then title heading is started okay for that what are you going to write you have to write the media query for this there is a lot of media query written you have to go like i have written suppose the size is with 700 pixel what you to do all these things written okay i am not going to explain all these things this you have to understand uh, by, because it is a code you have to understand okay but now you can see that in this example just resize the page just resize the page what we are doing we are writing this many kind of css code only for simple resizing i just want to after resize i just want to display this left hand side top of this one okay and what happening all these things for that i have written lot of code now what happened to writing all this code there is a problem means you have to remember everything and nowadays you have to deliver the application very fast means the ui you should not spend time to do all this kind of responsive names this is called responsive right means based responsive means always remember based on the page changes or based on the screen size your, your application should be behave like that way this is called a this is called a responsive okay in that case what happened let me tell you something if you go and design a website to write all these responsive just imagine this is one of the site and just imagine what happened this is the this is a normal view and i will go for a mobile view and in that case you want to go or write all this kind of structure all these things what will happen it will take a little bit time right means you have to display the menu here you have to display all these things how you know that your screen is getting minimized or maximized all these things then right to solve this kind of problem you have only one solution it's called a media query you have to write the media query for each and every one means for each and every screen size you will go and write a media query and you have to do all these things but the problem is here how many media query are you going to write that will take a lot more time right to solve all this kind of problem like solve the responsiveness problem all this coloring styling all this problem there is a concept of bootstrap okay bootstrap means what it's doing it's doing it's just giving you a list of class means list of css class you no need to consider about the platform no need to consider about the screen size no need to consider about where it's going to run it's only for you you have to remember which device you are targeting means the last class we have discussed about different different screen size right means then you have to remember suppose you are writing a media query you have to remember what is the screen size for uh, mobile what is the screen size for tablet what is the screen size for desktop and what is the screen size for a tv then what will happen you have to write the all the css for all the classes now what will happen to solve like for that reason you have to write all the css media query you have to do a lot of thing right without writing all these things then what happening there is a concept called bootstrap means using bootstrap what will do what is saying build fast responsive side with the bootstrap means you no need to write any single uh, like your code single media query code to do any type of a responsive side why am i responsive saying because just imagine this is one of the site the same site if i open the browser it's working very good if i also open the site in mobile also it is playing very nice right there is no changes all are looking very good but do you think we need to develop the two application one for web one for mobile no it will take a lot more time but to overcome this kind of issue like you have to target a application that application should run in browser as well as a mobile browser or a tablet browser in that case what will happen you will write a media query 
to writing a media query is not that easy like this is just an example okay whatever example i have given just an example just imagine creating all this page where you are going to write this much 50 line of code and just imagine you are going to write a big application that time how you are going to write the same kind of code again and again right to solve that kind of problem there is a concept called bootstrap means bootstrap what is giving is just giving a css for you means it will give you one css and using that css what you will do you no need to write any media queries any means okay some of the cases you can write but 90 percent code of the responsiveness for different different platform or different different devices different different screens all are ready only you have to remember how the bootstrap is work now what is the class name and giving one one thing just imagine if you want to work in future bootstrap because all the site nowadays are using bootstrap if you are using bootstrap in your site always remember one thing you don't need to understand how bootstrap work you have to understand what is the class name example suppose suppose an example okay suppose an example you are using one form okay you are using one form and the form just example i will open one thing wait for some time we have declared as a form you can see that how our text box looks like it just looks like a black and white right but if you go and add one class from bootstrap to your html uh, control then your this control will looks like this one you can imagine you no need to write anything you just need to remember one class name the class name is form control the class name is form control form hyphen control if you go and add this class to this input then what will happen automatically this kind of uh, like whatever this text boxes all this input will convert to this nice text box clear means what happening in the bootstrap bootstrap is created all the basic css means all the it's created one kind of a theme of css where if you go and use this bootstrap then it will give a standard design for you in just imagine if something is small suppose you are you, you want to use a small control default control or large control and something is disable or read only you read about all these things right? read only disable all these things in that case how we are going to display a button all these things choose file everything is there right color picker everything is there how are you going to choose all these things for that you no need to write no need to write the code again and again you just simply go and use the class name form control form control lg means form control is used to add the style form control lg for large large input got it means what i'm what i'm saying here css is giving you list of class that class you have to remember always remember the class name you have to remember for bootstrap then using that bootstrap then you will go and write your css means only you focus the designing not the styling that is the use of css and not focusing only focus the content not the screen means if you design anything in the bootstrap by default there is a concept of this responsive means anything you are going to add just example this is one of the form right if i go just a second i'll show a good example okay you can see this example these two lines these two lines that are in the left and right if i go and resize you can let's see how, how it's going to work it's not resizing actually it's not going to resize i'm giving another example
and find it out where, the, where they return this type of uh, okay they have not written and so that what i'm trying to say it here like if you are going to design any of the ui and in that ui what will happen suppose this kind of design is there why is the design okay this kind of design is there and what we are expecting after you resize after you resize these things what will happen automatic okay yeah this is the best example okay i'll show you something you can see that this guys email id password address all these things are this is two line one one two one one this is a full this is all the full let me resize this one you can see that once you resize automatically you can see that email id and password are getting down you can see that if it's a large screen displaying left and right means two column displaying if i go and resize this one you can see automatically getting down just imagine to design this kind of ui in using the css you have to write lot of media query because you have to write you have to understand this css you have to understand the screen size then how it's going to display all this thing you have to write right but if you are going to use the CSS, if you are going to use the bootstrap, sorry, going to use the bootstrap, then what happened? You no need to worry about this kind of designing. By default, you just remember the which class you have to apply. Then what will happen? Just imagine call six, call six or call eight. I, I'll go and explain all this thing. If you just apply this style, then what will happen? Automatically, based on your screen size, it is going to work in that way clear means the ultimate use of bootstrap is you just remember all the class name and you have to understand how the bootstrap is work and you have to remember how the responsive is work then no need to understand about all those things how it's working okay clear the use of bootstrap bootstrap means it's a ui library library which is given there is some sort set, set of css is written predefined using using that css you have to do all the responsiveness for your application okay means you no need to write this kind of css this kind of media query or css for your page to do the that responsive kind of designing okay clear now let me go and we'll configure first how we can configure the uh, this bootstrap in your application here you can see that uh, that is the called download option if you open the get bootstrap.com then what will happen let me bring the site first to all of you this is the bootstrap site if you are using bootstrap site uh, once you open there is an option called download if you click on download it's going to ask you uh, what is going to download like all the files are compiled and minified okay what is compiled and minified minified means all the code okay all the code is like there is no space in there suppose, suppose you are opening any css file suppose opening any css file you can see that a lot of gap is there right what happen if you go and minify this css what will happen automatically they will remove all the all the spaces in that let me show you something you have to understand the concept of a minified bundle minified means compiled okay compiled means already compiled by the system and minified means is there is no extra comment there is no extra space available let me show you one css minified i'll explain also why this minified also required okay open and copy this one and paste it here and select suppose the css minify you can see that this entire code this entire line of code is converted to only one line of code what it happened if just remove all the blank space of the of the page and displaying all these things then you will ask what is the use of this minified minified means just imagine this data when you do any minified if you do any minified to a file then what will happen it the size of the file getting less means just imagine you have a large css file and you want to load to your browser in that case in that case to load that file to your browser is required some uh, uh, data right it requires some time to load the data if you want to minify the file if you minify that css file 
it will take the less time as compared to that file because once you minify a file the size of the file getting less as compared to normal beautify this is called beautify this is called minify okay there are two different different structure in future if you are going to develop any application in react or angular any of the cases then what will happen you need to do all the minification because without minification your site is going to be load a little bit slow because this is the this data will be more data as compared to this just remember this is the one line of data you can see this is the eight line of data right because this is consuming some space all this tab all these things what if i using the css minify everything is going to zip okay this is one kind of minify so what is saying it's saying that this is already minified means all that are tightly minified okay you can download it one i will show you this one you can download otherwise we can use cdn okay let me show you what is concept of cdn the exact the use of cdn means cdn full form is content delivery network you can know that content delivery network means this bootstrap css this bootstrap css and the, all the things are hosted in different location and what will happen if you go and use this download one this this zip one what will happen you will open this one and after opening this one you are going to copy this one and paste in a local and give your local reference right how we are going to create this css and give your local reference to your page the same way you will extract this file after extract this file copy this one and paste to your assets folder or any, any of the folder and give the link to your page this is the one way this is the traditional way but the problem is if in future bootstrap got bootstrap added something new features in this 5.1 version or 5 point something version then what will happen again you will go and download this one and again you have to copy paste and you have to use instead of copy paste and use we can use their own cdn one means they have instead of writing instead of downloading and use in a local they have given their remote path means using this remote path what will do you no need to own we no need to import their file in our local you just go and copy this one and paste in our html that's all nothing to do now our application is ready for css ready for bootstrap clear if you go and copy this one paste it to your browser that's all now our application is going to ready for all the css you need to uh, use only the css class this is for the cdn but what are demerits of this one the demerits of this one is if this link got down just imagine if this link got down then there is a problem that your css is not going to work because your entire application css is going to depend upon these two links whereas if you are using your local version then only thing will be you are going to serve your file the css file or javascript file from your only local okay not the remote that is the only difference between this remote install, this local installation versus the cdn integration but the things will be nowadays due to this cdn 99% chance this is not going to be down but the things will be it's going to download each and every time from the server whereas this one it's a local it's going to load the fast but nowadays also cdn going to load the fast but based on your uh, story based on your actual requirement you have to use which one you have to prefer either you go for cdn or you have to go for local it's up to you how you are going to use it okay there is no like um, like uh, there is no rules that we have to, you, you cannot use cdn or you cannot use the local but just imagine it's up to you how you can go and use it okay this is the two way you can use the cdn you can use the bootstrap in your page means you don't write anything just download the page just example let me show and we have to integrate the bootstrap with us let me go and create one called bootstrap today is uh, bootstrap. Okay. we create one file called index.html 
and here right post. you can see this is uh, we have created a page called bootstrap let's go and use this bootstrap in two way one is will create one file create a folder inside the folder will go and add this down, download folder another one is we will use this cdn to solve this one okay let me go do that Okay, these are the two CSS JavaScript. Let me copy it. Let me copy and go to our uh, training session. Let me create one folder in uh, top. Let me create one folder, uh, new folder called I suppose assets and inside assets. Let me uh, create another folder called bootstrap. Inside bootstrap, let me paste it. Okay how we are going to add these images right um, okay i have added one assets folder inside assets folder i have added bootstrap inside bootstrap i have css and javascript let me go and open this css javascript you can see what are the folder inside that if you open the css you can see there is n number of css file is there okay n number of css file is there but you have to use only one css this is called bootstrap.min.css this one remember you have to use bootstrap.min.css you don't need to use other things for all min means it's a minified of bootstrap okay same way go to javascript and use bootstrap.bundle.min min means minified normal means normal one but for you let me open something in css if you open this bootstrap let me open bootstrap into our vs code you can see how many line of code is there it's almost 11266 line of code in bootstrap they have written okay all the css they have written but if you open if you open this bootstrap minified you can see that what happened it's all are minified it's only six line six line means this is a license one you can see all the quran get minified means there is no css there is nothing there is no space nothing all are getting minified also if you want to check the both sides bootstrap size will be two 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 not one kb whereas bootstrap min size will be 161 kb you can see that after you minified some file after you minified some file what will happen the size of the file getting down that's the reason we are already recommended just to use the minified one okay now let's go and import this one we import this one you know to import the style field we have to use the link one link relation equal to sorry relation equal to style sheet okay then uh, href href we have to go double dot slash double dot slash assets slash bootstrap slash css slash this um, mini um, this css bootstrap cs min dot css same way you want to import the link you import a link script src equal to dollar slash dollar slash asset slash uh, bootstraps uh, then javascript then bundle dot min dot js okay, let me go and refresh the page okay now you can see the bootstrap is imported nothing is displaying right let me go and do one thing here let me add a class suppose input 
टाइप इनपुट टाइप टेक्स्ट सेम वे लेट मी ऐड अनदर वन ब्रेक इनपुट टाइप टेक्स्ट एंड क्लास इक्वल टू फॉर्म कंट्रोल डिड यू सी दिस वन दिस टू कंट्रोल लेट मी पुट अनदर ब्रेक पॉइंट Uh, see these two control this is the default uh, text box this is on the bootstrap text box you can see only what i did only i did apply the class called form control the same way tomorrow we will go and learn first the grid system the responsive style of a css means uh, bootstrap means how the responsive work in the csl in bootstrap then we'll create the responsive design here we have to understand different different screen size and later we will go an overview of a all the css tag whatever available here okay thank you guys thank you for your time uh, tomorrow we're going to start from the bootstrap only bootstrap means we will learn about the grading system all these things and after that we will start a new project on the um, a new website okay thank you thank you for your time see you tomorrow